So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about reflection of light. Now before I explain to you on the concept wise, let's take three objects. a blackboard okay an ordinary glass just like you see in so many buildings or so many shops and third a mirror Now let's say all these three are kept in an open ground. So what do you notice? When you look at a blackboard, let's say there is a person who looks towards the blackboard. So what does he see? He sees that the blackboard is obviously entirely black. Right? Then if he sees as a normal shop, which is having this glass, what he notices is he is able to see through the glass. So if the glass is the door is the, of that of the glass, then you can see what all is inside the building. So let's say there are various boxes which are inside the building or for that matter inside the shop. You can see through the glass and see this. And the third one is that of a mirror. So what you notice is that if it is kept in an open where a sunlight falls into it, then there's a light which comes back from the mirror. So the light goes to the mirror and then the light comes back from the mirror. Now have you noticed that in all these three cases, the observations were different? Now why does this happen? This happens because of the fact that, you know, there is only one sun which is there. It throws the sun rays or the lights on blackboard. It throws the sun rays on the glass. And it also throws the sun rays on the mirror. Now what happens is, that when the sun rays fall on the blackboard, it absorbs all the light which falls on it. And once that happens, there is no light which is emitted by the blackboard. So emission in this case is zero, because of the which the blackboard remains black. Contrary to this, in case of a glass, what happens is that when this light falls on the glass, it allows the light to pass through it. Okay, And when the light passes through an object, it goes and falls into things which are behind the glass and therefore we are able to see through the glass. Why? Because the objects which are there behind the glass, let's say these boxes is what we had considered you are able to see through them. Now in the third case what happens is the light when it falls on the mirror is reflected back. Reflected back means it is it goes in strike here and comes back. Again this rays go here and comes back. This is mainly in case of certain polished or shining surfaces that the rays are reflected back. So this process of sending back rays falling on 
surface of an object is called reflection of light. So we say that the reflection of light is minimum in case of a blackboard. It's not there in case of certain objects like transparent glasses and all. And in certain other objects like mirror, there is a reflection of light insofar as whatever light falls on that object is reflected back. It goes back. And therefore, what happens is that you are able to see through these lights. So if a glass is kept in an open ground, I don't know if I mean how many of you would have seen that, but it it is it is kind of at times irritating for the eyes because these light reflects back and it goes and hits your eyes. So this process of coming in and going back of light rays as they fall on an object is known as reflection of light. <coughs> 